All right, I got my aerial rider a grizzly yesterday. And so I thought I would do a quick first impressions video and uh, sort of subject to updates and all that. But um, I've done three rides on it. And, um, you know, I just thought people might be kind of interested in a first impressions video. So first impression, loving it. Um, obviously we, you know, you have your two uh, hub motors, two batteries tons of power tons of range um super torquey um actually so torquey that so you can you can turn off one motor you know so you're just riding on one motor and i actually do that from a stop because otherwise the front wheel um spins out if i'm at a stop and i and i go with a uh um you know with the throttle um this may partially be because i'm pretty light so and for context i only weigh 140 pounds and i'm less than 5'9 and i actually think a lot of reviewers it'd be like good to know people's height and weight actually for a lot of stuff so i'm definitely a lighter rider so that might be part of it but boy this thing is super torquey it'll it'll just um wants to rip out from underneath you um also for context, uh, I've been, I have 1200 miles on this Hemiway Cruiser. This is also a powerful uh, uh, bike. It's awesome. I want a little more range, a little more power. So that's why I went with the Grizzly. But um, you know, the Hemiway has served me really well. Uh, you can see my uh, shirt with class two uh, body armor in it and helmet and gloves. Um, I think I'm always surprised at reviewers who have little to no safety gear on. It, it doesn't make sense to me, but you know, to each their own. Uh, also, my pannier bag. So Hemiway has a great um, rack system that they that comes with. Um, there's a pannier bag. I've, you know, I do, you know, carry groceries and stuff to work in those bags. I really hope that Aerial Rider comes out with their rear rack system. I'm sure they're intending to, but they haven't yet. And I, uh, you know, I'm thinking of trying to improvise some kind of system here. Um, but so far, you know, they they have not come out with that. Um, also, notice that the, that the wheels are quite a, you know, I think they're 20 by four wheels. So that means they're really nimble and it's really easy to corner. So. It takes a little adjusting from a, a larger wheel, um, but I think it's. I think I'm really gonna like it. And you don't have to lean your body so much. You can lean the bike more easily with these um, smaller um, diameter wheels. One thing I will say is that so the stock handlebars that come with are for some reason. It's hard for me to show the angle, but man, these things are just crazy high um now granted i am coming from a uh, mountain and road biking um you know that's that's my cycling experience uh mostly um and you can see too like i slammed the you know the the bars and stem here of the hemiway and whatnot so you can see i'm kind of that way but the, just the sort of the cockpit of the grizzly from you know so the space from where your your rear is to your hands to me felt super short and also super upright like i was sitting literally straight upright um with this with this uh really high handlebar and this i mean this look at the stem it just does not get shorter than that. That's the shortest stem you can have. So I um, installed a longer stem here with a slight downward rake. And then these handlebars, they have a slight upward uh, sort of gull wing um, style handlebar. And boy, it, you know, it just extends your reach out and flattens you out a bit. You just feel more um, sort of um, athletic on this bike so i don't know i mean some folks you know hey if you're happy with this great i you know i'm not saying it's bad it just it was bad for me so i'm um feeling awesome about uh, this setup right here 
I have not tested the um, headlight at night, but it seems brighter than than the Hemiways, which I'm excited about. Um, however, the tail light seems less bright. Um, it is, uh, you know, it activates under the brake light or uh, under braking too. And I mean, I, maybe I should reserve judgment because I haven't really tested it at night, but it seems dimmer and um, I, I just think having a, a bright daytime braking light is a good idea. But overall, um, this uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly has been worth the wait. I am really excited about it. I'm going to keep sort of uh, modding it a little bit and whatnot. But um, it's a it's an awesome little bike. Um, beefy though, I say little, but you know it's a it's a chunky chunky little thing. You know it's over 100 pounds. So um, don't, don't don't think you're going to carry this up a flight of stairs on a regular basis um, unless you work out a lot more than I do. <laughs> All right, so there's my first impressions. I, I'll um, try and post an update at some point. But um, so far, loving it. Um, it's awesome. A few little uh, tweaks I wish it would uh, would have, but you know, Aero Rider is doing a great job, and um, I'm excited for this little bike. Thanks.